Because you demanded it. Yes, because you guys wanted to see parts six through a bil bazillion. We are playing more of The Last of Us. Welcome to Rage Select, everybody. I'm Jason. I'm Jeff. And um, yeah, I'm just going to let you guys know now. We're doing one of these because you asked for it. One more. Just one. We've are, I have already beaten the game, so it's. I don't know how many more of these we could really do without getting kind of kind of bored. But uh, yeah, because I mean, we are bored. You're bored. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is that is that Maybe. how it works? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Uh, how does Maybe this they work really again? like seeing us bored? Um, man, why can't anybody clean up the future? Like that's what, uh, what I'm wondering. Is after the apocalypse, do all the brooms just burst into flames? Like it, yeah, there's there's no like Clorox wipes. Well, I know that this is like an outside area, but in the quarantine zone. Like, they just, you know, just, yeah. sweep up the street it's and like, maybe pick up the garbage off the side of the street. Well, it's the apocalypse. Better uh, wipe some poo on the walls. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I'm just going to shit my pants from here on out. It's the <laughs> yeah. apocalypse. Like, come on, guys. Have a little decency. Have a little uh, respect in yourself. I mean, even look at look at Joel's shirt. Like, maybe just put it in with some woolite. That's what I don't understand. There's got to be some woolite somewhere that, in the future. See? This and Walking Dead, mm -hmm. and they're always wearing the same filthy shirts. Yeah. It's like, guys, there are a lot of clean clothes, Let her go. like, <laughs> everywhere. Like, is uh, did they just burn the gaps down oh yeah. directly after? Find a target. That's right. You know? Get some get some hot pants Whatever. with the word slut written across the butt. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> Nobody's going to care. I do like it. it. This game makes me feel very at home because everybody is wearing jeans in the apocalypse. Like... Nobody's wearing nice slacks or anything. It's all just like work jeans. Yeah. So well, you kind of got to be prepared. You can't, you know, wear your, you know, really tight polyester pants or anything. Well, jeans aren't indestructible. You can use some like chinos or some, I don't know. Dickies. Yeah. Maybe some overalls. Overalls seem like they'd be really useful in the apocalypse. Yeah. Pockets on the top. It's a one piece, you know, like going to give you a little bit more. You could shove a. Uh, like an oven plate in there, like uh, uh, like Back to the Future Three style, or for maximum maneuverability, yeah, jock strap, jock strap, just a jock strap, just a jock strap, yeah. <laughs> but she's not crossing you are still riding the wave off of the as yet unseen playthrough that we did a minute ago. Maybe you guys will understand on maybe Monday. A, maybe a little bit. Um, all right, so what's going on here? Um, She's so this this lady here is saying, okay, you got to take this little brat here yeah. to the fireflies. Okay, so we're going to put her in a duffel bag. Yeah. And we're just going to carry her. Yeah. Human trafficking. She did the try video to, game. to knife Tess. Tess, does Tess look like an overworked housewife to you? I think it's a little headband that she's got. I mean, she kicks a lot of ass, but she also looks like she just got done sweeping the living room she, or something. She looks like she, yeah, she needs some dishwashing gloves on. <laughs> And while she's got like Kathy Lee and, and Hodor or whatever. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, is there a new show I don't know about? Hodor it's, and Kathy what, Lee what's in the her morning? Name? Ka Hoda. Kathy <laughs> Lee and Hoda. I like it better if it's Kathy Lee and Hodor. Sure. Hodor, what do you think? Hodor. 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 Yeah. Oh, isn't that dress <laughs> fabulous? Hodor. Hodor. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, wait, we're, so we're taking her. Where are we taking her? Showbiz? Uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Taking her. Uh, Mr. Gaddy's P Gaddy Town. Nobody knows what that is outside of Texas. You know what would be funny if there was like an M. Night Shyamalan twist what? at the end of this game? Yeah. And uh, it turns out you're actually just in Detroit. Or, or yeah, or Mexico. <laughs> you're, or just, Mexico. you're just in like Juarez. Well, you know, if this is Mexico, I'm going to say there's not a lot of Mexicans here. Not a lot of anybody. But There's not a lot of writing of, in Spanish. Let's find a pharmacy. Like a quick Mart or Johnny's Joint. Johnny's Joint. Johnny's Joint. What else? I love, you know what I love? In this game, somebody went to an awful lot of work to create a lot of fake signs and movie posters. <laughs> what and if that like was that? your job? Top it's of like, lights. All right, you got to come up with all the fake businesses. Yeah, I, could, I could do that. That's just yeah. That that's that's how you're credited. I mean, like every one fake of these, business guy. Not a through street. Twelve dollars. Uh, I've seen worse. Go fuck yourself. In what Austin, is it? fucking South by around here, bitch. Yeah, for the car you don't have. <laughs> We're going to get towed, man. The fungus people are going to come and tow us. Yeah, they, they ticket you. <laughs> you just get one of those like, a clicker with a police hat on yeah, and write and a ticket. And a little ticket book. And the ticket just says click, 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 click,
I played all the way through this game, and I don't know if they've ever accurately explained why the fungus makes everybody into murder psychos. Like, the, the, the ant fungus makes them, like, walk up into the light so the fungus can grow or whatever. This makes them into total bloodthirsty freaks. Like, is, is there a place in the animal kingdom where the ants have a really big zombie problem? Can I watch that? Is that a Nat I, Geo I, I somewhere? That. <laughs> I want to see that. But yeah, that it would be a much less interesting game if all of the infected oh. people just kind of wanted to go stand outside. Yeah. I just want to stand in the sun. I just want to stand outside. I've, got, I've got brain fungus. I'm going to go stand in the sun. I wonder what it, I wonder what it tastes like. I wonder what it feels like. I wonder what it, actually, I wonder what it tastes like. I wonder if that fungus is. What, is it, what it tastes like? Yeah, sure. Cut a little bit off, put it on pizza. Eat, eat some of those ants. Eat some of the ants, find out. Yeah. Yeah. Where, yeah. Where, where does this, like, geographically, where does it happen? I'm going to say I don't know, but I'm going to wildly postulate uh, Pittsburgh, mostly. Pit- Pittsburgh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mostly, mostly Pittsburgh. The zombie ants of Pittsburgh? Mostly the pit. Um, you know what? I, I tell you what, though. There's some parts of this game, like when you go into the areas you got to put a gas mask on for, Yeah. where it's like, I have mild allergy problems, mm-hmm. and I was just like, oh, I don't even want to breathe. <laughs> I don't even want to breathe near this game. And then there's parts of this game where you're wearing a gas mask and you have to go underwater. And I'm just like, that wouldn't work at all. You come out of the water and then just drown. <laughs> yeah. Not that, that has anything to do with the whole gas mask thing. I, it, 14, huh? <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, no. Joel could be a dirty lech, right? He could mm. be a dirty... Like, all right, all right, uh, Jeff. Yeah? What is the no, youngest no. woman you yeah. would sleep with? That I that I would sleep with? Yes. Um, I'm really not looking for for young women. I'm looking for people my own age. Your own age? Yeah. Say maybe 10 years younger than me at the very youngest. Which 25. Is 25. Yeah. Okay. I'm not really looking to date teenagers, if that's what you're getting at here. What? Did, what who's dating? Well, I'm not really looking to... This is boning. I'm not really looking to bone teenagers. Eight, 18? I'm not really looking to bone teenagers. Stone Cold Fox? They, but they want to talk to you, and they're dumb. They are. That's true. I mean, like, I don't wouldn't mind if if it was socially acceptable to be like, all right, what look, you, you want a bone? Oh, this is fucking. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm invoking the rules of what no talking. I <laughs> no talking. <laughs> I'm sure you I, I don't want. Some, Ladies love that. I don't want a teenager to roll over in the morning and go, "What you thinking about?" And go. <laughs> All the work I have to do, I think you need to go what? somewhere now. Can I call you? No. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm thinking about killing you with a machete. <laughs> I mean, you know, because I tell you what, I don't really have much of a problem yet in life with the idea of getting older. Like, I'm pretty decent with it now. Yeah. But, like, in the few times in my life I have dated somebody that's, like, five or six years younger than I am, mm-hmm. the big problem that I have is that, like, all the bands that I'm nostalgia for, they don't fucking have any idea who they are. And all yeah. the bands that they're really into, I think, sound like shit because yep. I'm an old man. That's true. So we always yeah. have this terrible problem when we get in the car we have to drive in silence because my I listen to old man music and yeah. she listens to terrible yeah, drivel. Fortunately, poop. she's, like, wrapped in duct tape. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, and that's why she rides in the trunk now. Doesn't want her to put you, doesn't doesn't want you to put her in the, the ditch <laughs> that you made her dig <laughs> out in the field. <laughs> they're all like, pl- they're all like, please, mister, I'll do whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's so dark. <laughs> Just anything. Jesus. Let's get into this game. Tess is back. Hey, Tess, why don't you talk to us for a while? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Nothing? nothing. nothing. We're, not, we're not talking about anything. We're not, just nothing? Yeah. <laughs> we just, we're, yeah. Um, that? Ellie, you like movies about gladiators? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I meet someone who is young, even if they're really of any age, right? Of any, if, if I'm having a conversation with you at some point, have you seen Star Wars is going to come up. <laughs> yeah. And if they say no, it's like, yeah. Well, we are just going to have a fundamental breakdown of communication Which, if you haven't seen. Like, that. I want to make it very clear here that I have no problem talking with, hanging out, associating with, or being friends with people who are more than ten years younger than I am. Sure, but I don't want to date them because you get into levels of conversations. Like when you have friends that are younger, and you're like, "Oh man, I remember I was so into Nirvana," and like, "Oh, my dad listens to Nirvana," and you're like, "Oh God, I'm old." And <laughs> then everybody has a laugh, and you're fine. But it's different when the person that you're sleeping with, you have that same conversation with because then you just feel like a dirty yeah. old, old man. Or if 
This is the stupidest mechanic, by the way, this entire game. Like it's this pointless. The mechanic can kinda of go fuck itself. Yeah. I would rather jam on the triangle button until it comes on. Fortunately, you don't have to do it very often. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh that that's one of my litmus tests. Like, computer. Oh, have you seen Star Wars? Yeah. Oh yeah, the one with the little kid, the pod racer. I think you. No, no, no. I think you have to dig another ditch. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta. I gotta text you. Does it, do you still have my shovel? Uh, no, I'm using it right now. You can't have it back. Shit. So we're taking her to the to where to. Minneapolis to or Gothenburg or where are we going? Uh, Showbiz Pizza, Chuck E. Cheese's. Uh, I really want to go to Showbiz Pizza, Jason. Uh, do they even have any of those anymore? Uh, I think they all got bought. No, they all got bought by Chuck E. Cheese. I know because I watched that documentary about okay. the rocket fire explosion. Oh, right, right. Up, up, up. Yeah, because the rocket fire. Apparently, the animatronics at Chuck E. Cheese are like shit compared to the animatronics of the rocket fire explosion. Really? Yep. Or so says the crazy man-child who bought the last rock fire explosion and set it up in a shed in his backyard. Do they... You guys should watch that documentary on Netflix. I, I, it's I need weird. to see that. I still so really want to see that. Weird. Do they still have, like... Like, if you go into a Chuck E. Cheese now, do they have animatronics? I don't all? know what they have. Just cheap pizza? Is that it? And a ball pit that's full of MRSA? Yeah. <laughs> or whatever's in the, the ball pit? The MRSA pit. The MRSA pit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I... Wait, when did it start raining? Because remember oh, right, in the saying? 80s uh -huh. when... I remember the 80s. Yeah, when you would go to like a showbiz or something like that, and they would have some elaborate animatronics there. Sure. Well, like, I remember one block. in El Paso. It was like this giant dragon. Oh, really? That like sang songs and shit. I think it was like an optional thing. They talked a little bit about that in that documentary. Wait, what's in here? Oh, just nothing. Poop. Juds. Yeah. Do you believe they're a race of subterranean uh, of humans living under the ground, under the earth, the mole people? Uh, I know that there are, like, little... Oh! oh shit! I know that... This guy's uh, really serious about Counter-Strike. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, Non-infected win. In some major cities, there are people who live... Like in abandoned, like subway tunnels and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like setting up little villages, but like uh -huh. mole people. Yeah. Hollow Earth theory. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No Atlanteans. That's stupid. It's the Middle of the Earth Atlanteans. That's stupid. Aquaman. Wait, she's gonna make it worth his while. Ugh. Just. What is he doing? Is he taking our temperature? That's not how you take temperature. That's right. You need to. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh. All right, I like this kid. Yeah. I like this kid. Pretty tough. Yeah. Oh, wait. Were you trying to decide which one of us was the real Joel? Because we look completely <laughs> different. <laughs> I thought we were just going to hold him up or something. Like, freeze, mister. No loose end. Is that a, a Wii remote? Or is that a camcorder? <laughs> yeah. They like to, this guy's got a weird ear fetish. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, does she have the the, the, the herp, herp, herpsa, herp, herpsa, herp, mersa herp? Mersa herpsa. Mersa herpsa aids? Yeah. Aids of herpa mersa? She's got the fungus. No. Oh, shit. I can explain. You better explain fast. Or we're going to shoot you in the fucking face. Yeah. What is that? Gross. That's gross. You need to wash That's your arm more, lady. Yeah. yeah. Is that eczema? Just pop them, man. I know that when you're, when you're a teenager, you get acne and it's real bad and shit, but you shouldn't let it get that bad. What did she say? We'll find you some propecia. No, wait. What's propecia? The, what's the stuff that? Uh, what's her face that blonde country singer uses or whatever? What the acne medication? That what's uh, her face uh, is shilling. Uh, I don't know. Jessica Simpson, Cindy Crawford. I don't know. Jessica Simpson. What? Some. some I don't know. Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. All right. Jessica Simpson has her. Proscar. That's what I'm saying. What? Prothgar? Proscar. Proscar. Yeah. No, that's is not that it. it. No. Prothgar. Yeah, Prothgar. that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Protect you from Grendel's. That's right. Yeah. Did you see the Grendel movie with Angelina Jolie? Ooh, dude, I did. Say, okay, I look. liked it. This is creepy. This is creepy. Mm. Ellie, can you just you stand over there and I'll be over here? <laughs> you smell like pennies. <laughs> Ooh, what does that even mean? <laughs> That's creepy. I don't even know what it. Oh God! <laughs> don't get in the light. Run, run, you stupids. Okay. Well, let's just go for it. Fuck it. How did everything get all fucked up? They That's just, what like, I'm curious about. It's just bombs and stuff. It's just zombies. Like, why is everything like, I mean, I, I played all the way to the end of this game, right? 
I saw there was a, a place later on in the game, and this is not a spoiler, it's just there's an object. It's a tank covered in moss. Okay. And I'm like, considering the way this world is going, who would leave a tank? Like, you could find somebody to fix your tank and find some fuel to put in it, and then have a tank. Tank beats clicker. You gotta think there are lots of tanks sitting around, though, right? Yeah, and who the fuck is just leaving tanks wherever? That's an incredibly expensive... Maybe the tank driver forgot where they parked the tank. Oh, wait, wait where's the... Gotta stay out of the light. Uh, where's the light? Oh, I can't tell where it is. Maybe the... Wait, the tank driver got lost? Yeah. And just left his tank somewhere? Maybe it was He parked the there mall. on Friday, and then he got yeah. drunk? He got... Maybe it was in the Ikea parking lot, uh -huh. and he died in there because he couldn't find his way out. Because <laughs> he was trapped in Ikea. It wasn't the clickers what done it. It was the Ikea yes. what done him in. Uh, okay, wait, where... Are we out of the the fucking get-killed zone yet? Can I listen? I don't understand how this listening works. I mean, like, <laughs> they... Okay, wait, are we supposed to go this way? I'm following you guys. Maybe you keep following them that other way. They were coming in here. Oh, maybe they're not. Can you maybe, you know, squat a little bit? <laughs> yeah. Or just a little bit? <laughs> uh, what if you... What if Ellie had Tourette's Syndrome? <laughs> oh man you guys are trying to be quiet Bugger. <laughs> shit shit balls <laughs> cock pickle cock pickle uh, where are they so you, we can hear them in that case I mean if you're going to give Ellie Tourette's uh -huh. you should also have the option to pistol whip her hold up shit. oh to make her shut to up to make her be quiet oh, oh. I don't think that's how Tourette's works what yeah I don't think you can just beat some beat the Tourette's out of somebody <laughs> you well Hey, I didn't know you didn't see me. I think I that that is uh, an approach that science has not yet considered. Beating the the mental disorders out of people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Who's where are you looking, bro? Uh. Oh, I can't even get across there. Do you think if I go, let's see if I throw this behind him, he'll be like, "What? What, what? was over there?" Like, just, who? I totally didn't see the bottle flying through the air at me. Wee. Well, he's got the gas mask on. It's hard to see stuff. It is. That's true. <coughs> yeah, see, they must have, like, bombed this place or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, seriously. Like, buildings don't fall down like this. Like, quarantine the area mm -hmm. and, like, just destroy that section of the city. <laughs> Hopes to, like, contain is there any the ammo contamination. Over here? Ooh, a drawer. Yeah. This game has made me more excited for... Oh, come yeah. on. Hey, Staples. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make a shiv. This game has made you excited for what? Uh, d desk drawers. When I see desk drawers. desk drawers I haven't opened yet, I'm like, mm. oh, shit, there could be some alcohol in there or sugar. Yeah, I love it where, when you find, like, sugar mm -hmm. in someone's bedroom in this game. Yep. It's like, why did you have a bunch of sugar in your bedroom? There's a lot of weird voyeuristic going through people's bedrooms in this game. <laughs> There's a lot of that, yeah. Uh, okay, what do we got? Uh, yeah, let's um, let's not stay out in the middle of the street. How come you guys can run all squatted and I can't? See, like, look, there's a tank. Tank is a very useful piece of equipment. Why don't you guys fix this shit up and then drive it over all of the zombies well, you can find? I don't know. Maybe you got to have the knowledge to drive a tank. These are military guys. It's too many tests. Like. One of them's got to know. Well, or maybe not. Maybe they, maybe they weren't in the, the, the tank brigade. Well, maybe you fix it up and then just start hitting switches and see when one of when the tank starts going forward, use that one. Trial and error. Sure. Why not? Okay, I got this. Been in a tank? Hey, I found a brick. Do you guys need a brick? <laughs> I have this brick. brick. Hodor. Hodor. Um, <laughs> would Hodor be a better character if he said anything besides Hodor? No. Yeah. How does that even work? He's like Timmy from South Park. <laughs> Timmy! <laughs> Timmy! <laughs> I heard, I was listening to some E3 coverage and some people were talking about the South Park game. Yeah. They're saying it was really funny. Really? Yeah. Mm, uh, if it ever gets released. If it's not buggy as shit, Obsidian, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay. Why are you Let's so judgmental about Obsidian, uh, Do We've been over this a billion <laughs> times. <laughs> I even had, we started a new website, so it's like I had to go over it again. Like, it's shit. <laughs> I don't like them, all right? Do whatever you want to. I'm not a fan. All right, what are we doing? Can we just, can we get off this street, all this sneaking about? 
You got the part where you get to punch people, but I'm being all sneaky and stuff, so. You are always all sneaky and stuff. I like being sneaky. Yeah. I like it when you sneak up on a dude, and then you hit him with a thing, and then he goes, what? And it's like, "Uh (laughs) uh-huh. That was a a very captivating reenactment. And then he's like, what? And he's all, "Uh uh-huh. And you hit him. And then he's like, blah. And you're like, I'm taking your stuff. And he's like, no, don't. Blah, blah, blah. And now I'm dead. (laughs) YOLO. (laughs) YOLO. Tony, so Tony 2012. How, how long did YOLO last? Uh, it was like two like, weeks? No, it, it lasted until those people got killed, right? It lasted until like oh, those that they party. were texting and they, yeah. when they were driving? Yeah, like I was texting <laughs> YOLO and then they crashed and died. It's a very tragic tragedy. Fuck them. I want to take this shovel. I've got a piece of wood. Yeah. This shovel has a metal top on it. I bet I could kill like twice as many zombies. Shovel beats wood. Yes. Is that rock, paper, shovel or wood, yes. wood paper, shovel? Shovel every shovel. time. Just take shovel every time. Uh, oh, wait. Hey, I got one of these. Are we away from the military? How much time we got left over there? About 10 minutes. Okay. We should go do some urban exploration. Oh, my God. I keep trying to get you to go to Centralia, but you keep saying it's haunted because you believe in ghosts and shit. Dude, I do not. You do so. I do not believe in ghosts. Well, then why don't you want to go to the town that's built the top of a coal mine that's on fire? I in ghosts, but that place has some bad juju, Silent Hill. It's not haunted, but, you know. Okay, what is the difference between juju. not haunted and bad juju? Something's fucked up. You there. believe in voodoo. I'm not saying that. I didn't say voodoo. But not... Ghosts. You're saying there's something wrong with it. Uh-huh. Like, such as... Like ghosts. For example, I'm what could possibly happen? Evil vibes. What could possibly happen in a city that's on, been on fire for 20 years? Uncontrollable diarrhea. <laughs> just, that's it. As soon as you cross over to Central, you're just like, oh, God, I have to find a bathroom. Yeah, maybe. That's I why the people that are still there have never left is because they can't get far they, enough away. They can't get away from the toilet. Yeah, yeah. they're just they're that's, stuck. That's their save point. Yeah. <laughs> Stuck on the crapper. Okay, where are we going? Uh, no, I'm all about, like, apparently there's, like, a tunnel that leads under Town Lake. Uh-huh. Or something like that. I don't, I don't do tunnels. No. <laughs> I don't do tunnels. Probably some spiders in there. Yeah, probably spiders. There's probably also, the tunnel could fall down and you could get killed by, like, suffocating to death under a bunch of, uh, like, rocks and dirt and junk. It's not like somebody burrowed it. Which, tu- which it's wait. Not like like Bugs Bunny. Where do we it's go? Like an actual tunnel. Uh, we should go down there and get drunk. Why would you want to get drunk in a tunnel? I don't okay, know. Wait, where where why, are we supposed to be going? Why would you not going? want to get drunk anywhere? Well, you and I where? have different rules about getting drunk. Yeah, so. that's true. Okay, where's the number one place you would not want to be drunk at? <laughs> Showbiz Pizza? Or, uh, the, <laughs> fuck that. That's uh, prime candidate actually, right there. Actually, I'm trying to think. Um, or, or situation. Oh, any time where there was actually like... Um, like violence or at a place where you had to like make a quick decision like if somebody's going to get into a fight mm. or friends of yours got stabbed and you have to go to the hospital or something like that okay. I would definitely not want to be drunk for that All right. but then the only time you know when I I've told you the story about when I was on acid and I lost my keys yeah. and I was immediately sober like mm. my body was just like enough of this shit <laughs> you're done <laughs> It's like, I should be tripping for another four hours. Nope, sorry you got to figure out how to get to North Austin and you can't call your parents <laughs> You can't even figure out how to use the phone. Oh, you can use the phone on acid. All right. See, look, that's, it's, we're, no, we were, is it, no, wait, that's what? not Texas. Isn't no. that what the Texas road signs look like, or is that what all the road signs look like? That's an international, like, that's an interstate. Interstate road okay. sign. Yeah. All right. Okay. Not in Texas, dude. Well, we were in Texas in the beginning. Yeah. I keep meaning to go back to the beginning and look up those cross streets on a map and be like, where does 360 and 71 meet that's close to I-35? I don't think that happens. <laughs> you think they just, you know, just did that? Just made some shit up? Yeah, they just threw a bunch of stuff in there. And yeah, it's like they've got the Texas Chili Parlor right next to, uh, like right next to UT. Fun fact, like, isn't it in Grindhouse, the... Uh, in Death she Proof, said, the yeah. oh, I'm sure patio in the Texas Chili Parlor does not actually right. exist. That was exist. the showdown, right? Uh, was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I think it was showdown it was. Which, is, which is gone now. Which is gone now. Well, it's it's still there. It's a different bar now. What if First it was barbed local corporate tools, and then locals came back and it. bought it. I, need to I actually mind. know the guy who owns that place. There. You do? Yeah. Really? date a sister of a friend of mine. Grant shut that. He was like, no, I'm not going there anymore. He had a bad experience. Really? Grant's an easygoing dude, too. Yeah, it takes a lot to piss Grant off. Yeah, Grant. I don't think I've ever even seen Grant severe before. Grant told the local he, he wrote it off. Yeah, look at what. 
hit the Capitol building. <laughs> yeah, right what there. happened? What? How is this skyscraper falling the fuck down? Dude, zombies. That's how. Well, what did they do? Did Pre they chew on the concrete until the place fell down? Maybe. <laughs> No preventative maintenance. Is that the difference years. between zombies and these, and these mushroom mutant mushroom, assholes? Yeah, fungus mutants. Fungus mutants. It's my favorite commenter on spill is fungus mutant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sounds familiar. <laughs> um, yeah. I get excited when I see my, uh, a town. Even like even the fact that the beginning of this game was close to Austin was uh, very exciting for me. Um, I don't know why. I want somebody to make a game set in Austin. Where I, this is actually modeled off of Austin. So you can be like, oh, I know where that is. And they're like, we have to go over to uh, the Ikea up in Round Rock. And yeah. I'm like, just don't, you don't even need a mini map for this. I know how to get there. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, see, one of the things that bugs me, though, and I realize, you know, they're trying to make this uh, a character who's, you know, different from your usual video game protagonist, but. Who, Joel? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, Fuck but you, church! Any movies, books, video games, if they're from Texas, they're kind of a redneck. This is very true. And this is no exception. But this was, you know, like, let's not, let us never forget that Austin is not Texas and Texas is not Austin. Yeah. Austin is an true. anomaly amongst uh, a state that has a lot. I mean, have you ever been to Dallas? Seriously? Yeah. Why, do you any, why does anybody ever live in Dallas? D well, Dallas, is, you know, it's, it's pretty cosmopolitan, but yeah. I, I'm not saying I like it. But <laughs> You're saying you want to totally live in Dallas forever now? No. I, I don't think I could live anywhere else in, in Texas. In Texas? Yeah. El Paso might be all right. Fuck all that. Yeah? Are you serious? No, I, I don't know. I've been through there a El couple Paso's times. El Paso's a shithole, man. Oh, okay, all right, all right. I trust you. Dude, it's Juarez adjacent. Well, I know, but it's, like, it's not actually in it's Juarez. It's shitty by osmosis. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, fuck El Paso, man. No, okay, so some friends of mine were telling me there's like a cool art scene going on there, like a little underground art scene kind of thing. But In El Paso? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, really. That's what they were telling me. Okay. Uh, but... Yeah, and a couple of my friends live there. What's this? But it's been ripped apart. yeah, El Paso. Oh no! You know what? If there's DLC where you can play as the Terminator in this game, that would be awesome. I think that would be awesome for you know any game. If you could play as the Terminator. Yeah, yeah. Just DLCs. Okay, here's the Terminator pack. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. For gimme. you know, cooking mama. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I need nope. your clothes, your boots, and all of the oregano. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Give me some of your bullets. Yeah, this stuff kind of got a little tiring after a while. I wish that it would have, like, you could just, like, like Bioshock style, like, uh, listen to it be read yeah. while you're going along. Yeah. Like, having to stop and actually read it was a little, it just broke the well, you flow. Didn't, you didn't Ew. have to do it. It's a clicker. It's a yeah, that's Fuck gross. you, clicker. So I had, uh, I had a little showdown. Uh -huh. With a dude uh -huh. at uh, Walgreens Ugh. the other night. Ugh. I went into Walgreens late. It's like three in the morning. Why would you do that? I don't remember. Okay. I think I was getting like juice or something. I don't know. Um, Why do you need juice at three in the morning? <laughs> Allison wanted it. You're making eggs, you know. Yeah. But anyway, we're, I'm in there, and the dude's got this zombie tattoo on his arm. Like of a just like of a zombie? zombie? Yeah. Like the word zombie? Or no, is no, no, no. A, a, a picture of a zombie, a zombie's head. Big fan of cr the cranberries or is it? No, no, no. an actual f flesh eater, a ghoul. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he was all tatted up and shit, haunted. Uh, uh, no, he, it's the building's falling uh, down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he was all tatted up and everything, and I was like, you know, he was, he was kind of surly, like I had interrupted him or something. Where was he, in line or did no, he No, 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 this, was, this was the, the clerk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, he's he's uh, ringing up my or my uh, purchase and and he uh, and I just saw the zombie tattoo in his arm and I said, "Hey, nice zombie." Mm -hmm. And he just looks at me like, oh, "It's from Dawn of the Dead." Uh huh. Was it like Bub or whatever? Well, see, that's the thing. Oh, that's shit. the point of the story. Uh huh. He, he said he he said it's from, like he was disgusted or annoyed that I had mentioned. It. He goes, "Yeah, it's from Dawn of the Dead." Right. That's and I was just like. Okay, and I proceeded to check out and get my receipt and everything. And right before I looked, I walked out. I looked at him and said, "Day." And he said, oh, he said, "What?" He goes, "It's from Day of the Dead." <laughs> <laughs> so I had to correct him, and then I walked off. And because it, it was, it was Bub. It's okay, from Day of the Dead. Okay, and yeah. motherfuckers, all it's from Dawn of the Dead. I'm like, the fuck it is. <laughs> uh, oh, you think you're talking to? I would have, I would have liked to have seen. Have you been there and just be like? 
it's like it's it's from Do- it's from day of, it's from Dawn of the Dead. Okay, is it a zombie? Yes. Well, then technically I was correct in calling it a zombie. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it's not not a zombie, right? It is a zombie. <laughs> yeah. So when I say nice zombie, bro, you know what I'm talking about. I was about. complimenting him, and then he just tried to like trump me with right. knowledge. Yeah. Hey, you know what? People love being right, man. They love being right. Yeah. Trust me. I know. <laughs> um, let's just wrap my arm up. We're out of time, dudes. man. Oh, is that it? Yeah. All right. Well, folks, this is part three of The Last of Us. The Last uh, of The Last of Us. This is The Last of The Last of Us. We're going to, by the time you see this, there should probably be a review up on the website, uh, which, you know, like I said in the comment, we generally don't play through games that we've already played because when we review a game, we have to play it a very short amount of time from start to finish. So, yeah. You know, well, we don't review it if we've played it, like, really recently. Well, yeah, we don't want to do a Let's Play on something we've just got finished playing. Like, we just finished playing this to turn around and yeah. then play it all the way again. It's more fun and amusing if we're encountering it fresh. Exactly. <laughs> or it's been long enough that we can forget about it. Yeah. Anyway, check out Twitter, check out Facebook, hit the like button, subscribe, you know all this stuff. RageSelect.com. And RTX in yes. the weekend of July 4th. It's coming up, you guys. So buy your tickets and come over. We're first day on Friday uh, from 12 to 2. We're going to have a live Let's Play. We're going to have some new announcements for new stuff on the website. It's going to be a blast to be had by all. Come check it out.